Hi, I'm Todd, co-founder and CMO of Zeotag. We're an AI-powered video player that makes your videos fully searchable and easy to navigate. The problem with online videos today is that long form informational videos are full of great content, but people don't wanna watch from start to finish just to find that golden nugget they were looking for. Think about the first thing you do when you open up a new video. You look and see how long it is, and that's when people decide if they're gonna qu click back or next or actually watch your video. Well, we give them a better option than clicking away from your video. The standard online video right now is just a thumbnail with a play button, a generic title, and a generic description, but no context. When you use the Zeotag Enhanced Player, you add an actionable table of contents here that shows your viewers exactly what you're talking about and when, so they can easily navigate and click to watch exactly the information that they're looking for. We also auto-transcribe the videos and add a search functionality so they can easily search and find what they're looking for. This creates longer watch time and more engagement on your videos. It's super easy to use for the viewers. As you can see, you simply click to navigate the actionable table of contents to open up and see what the different sections are and you can click and watch or you type, uh, type in a keyword phrase to search throughout the video and find a specific thing. Publishing is easy. You simply copy and paste your URL from your online video, tra auto transcribe it and hit the Zeotag button and that generates your actionable table of contents. Then optionally, you can add or edit your tags from there and then embed it on your website if you're a paid pro user or share it, share your people directly to your Zeotag video. The market size for online video is massive. Between digital marketing, podcasts, customer success, employee training, e-learning, project and account management, and now distance learning, we stopped counting at around $500 billion. Our business model has three different tiers. We have consumer for people who wanna watch videos more productively, which they can do with a free account or pay to get the transcription and tagging or auto tagging services. Our pro users are buying a subscription to get auto transcriptions as well as auto tagging and the ability to get the data and analytics on their video stats uh, around what people are clicking and of course the ability to embed their videos on their own website. Our enterprise clients have high volume video libraries, internal platforms, custom integrations, uh, or need advanced services. Our unfair advantage is two things. One, our product and our proprietary technology for artificial intelligence and how it understands the content of a video and then applies that uh, to contextualize the actual video itself. And our unique executive team combination with seasoned experts, not just in the technology and artificial intelligence, but also in the SMB market and the enterprise market so that we can simultaneously attack both tiers. Our competition is really piecemeal alternatives like Wistia and YouTube chapters. There's a new company called Searchy that provides a transcription search or companies who have the budget can custom develop something like this uh, if they have the time and resources and really wanna spend that much money instead of buying something off the shelf like Zeotag, and that doesn't even come with the contextualization. Our early traction validation is around our 1200 plus free tier pro and early bird users. Our customer acquisition cost right now is around $4 for a free tier pro user, and we've pre-sold a dozen pro and enterprise clients. And our product market fit is proven out by our conversion rates on our website and all of our messaging that compared to industry benchmarks, uh, the best industry converts website traffic at 14%, B2B at 10%, and technology at 2%. Our lifetime conversion rate is just under 50%, and as you can see, we've really dialed in over time. In the last seven days, our website conversion rate for free users is just under 75%. Our leadership team is our CEO, Jeff Paul, who's a seasoned expert in enterprise sales and partnerships. Michael Pushkar, who's our CTO and world leading expert in artificial intelligence. Myself as a CMO, who's been working in content marketing, video marketing, and helping small businesses and startups for over a decade. And Jim McMonagle, our CFO, who makes sure everything's compliant and the money's all getting put in the right place. Deploying our investment will go first towards expanding our technology team and driving our, further, uh, driving our product innovation further faster and then launching large scale sales and marketing campaigns uh, around our proven traction and offers. Our exit strategy is around connecting with large entities that are seeking valuable groundbreaking AI programs and an existing base of customers with high profitability and lifetime customer value. I'm Todd, co-founder and CMO of Zeotag. And if you wanna make your videos fully searchable and easy to navigate, you can get a free account right now at zeotag.com to check it out and test out. And we look here forward to hearing from you. Hi. I'm Rebecca Frankel, and I'm the founder and CEO of Squirt Teams.
The cost of wrong hires is an important concern for companies needing to get it right the first time. Hiring the best person for the job is an issue in the increasing competition in the OLMs, online labor markets, where it's important not to get outbid. In fact, already four years ago, 48 million workers uh, approximately were already on the OLMs. And no easy way exists to decrease bias when you're doing it exclusively with human judgment. Our solution is radically effective hiring. So we have a bias reducing digital selection process where employers can filter effectively among prospective hires to first of all, save money by eliminating wrong hires, make money with productive revenue generating hires and build teams of people who are conducive to working well together. So the market validation, uh, clearly uh, the spend on HR tech is growing and the market size is $400 billion globally with the United States taking the lion's share at 62%. So the total available market is a $400 billion uh, global HR market. The US market is $248 billion. So that's the serviceable available market. And very conservatively, we took two and a half percent of the US market at $6.2 billion. And that's our, our serviceable obtainable market. And our focus is on medium sized tech companies because tech companies tend to be early adopters of new technology. So what about using self-assessment questionnaires as some companies are doing? Well, according to published research, 30 to 50% of job candidates lie on their personality self-assessment. So instead we use a three-pronged process. Text, the text responses to free form questions um, at the interview, we use that into, we can convert that into actionable data. Our new world is spatial. We provide augmented reality and virtual reality simulations and observe how um, prospective hires respond given certain uh, situations. Matching isn't just for dating anymore. We then use a machine learning recommender algorithm to match the right people to teams needing an additional member. So what the prospective hire says what the prospective hire does in those virtual simulations and how he or she conforms to other candidates in terms of fitting in well in terms of personality traits is how we help companies make their hiring decisions. Let's see how the first part works. Hi, my name is Jean Marquez and I'm the product designer at Square Teams. Today I'm going to show you a product demo of our personality assessment that will be integrated into job applications. This assessment takes applicant responses and feeds it through our AI. Based on the way that the applicants structure their sentences, we can detect um, the big five personality traits. So here's the welcome screen, um, just to make sure that you're applying for the right posting and taking the right test. So let's start the assessment. Here's a quick instruction screen. Three free response questions, 180 words or fewer, that's all we need. So here's question one. So the results from our assessment will be sent over to the recruiter so that the recruiter will be able to see the assessment ranking of different personality traits of the applicant. And based on which values the company prioritizes, the company will be able to find better matches for their team. And here are some sample data-driven profiles. The top five are the big five personality traits and the lower five are things that we can pick up using those simulations with augmented reality and virtual reality, such as grit, and perseverance. So the, our business model depends on the size of the company and for larger companies we use a subscription-based revenue model. This is our competitive space but they don't do exactly what we do and in fact we have behavioral profiles. We enable virtual reality interviewing which reduces the barrier of distance so some people in different geographic locations can have interviews together. This is our team and our board of advisors and our ask is one million dollars on an eight million dollar valuation thank you good afternoon my name is ramana and i'll be introducing avelino incorporated to you in the next five or six minutes but before we get to avelino i wanted to clarify a few points 
as there is a lot of hype or misunderstanding about AI these days in the general market landscape. The first point I want to bring about, the distinguishing point about Avlino is, we automate what a data scientist does and not what a business analyst does, which means when we want a business analyst to go and interact with the data, our solutions ensure that they don't need to have a PhD in a math or a computer science. The second point we want to highlight is <clears throat> how do we go ahead and increase the adoption? To do that, you need, we've taken a two-pronged approach that we have seen success. The first is augmented decision-making, which means you're enabling a business analyst with the right data right analytics and right machine decision making for him or her to augment their decision making. Then once they have the confidence of deploying the system, then we can go ahead and implement the automated decision making where you can directly embed this into a business process without the need of having a business analyst. The third, we have taken a unique go-to-market strategy which is we understand that if you want to go ahead and embed into your business process, you need to have a lot of domain understanding. Whereas Avlino is more about data science, data engineering, machine learning, but we partner with a third party firm whom we call a domain partner who brings in an understanding of the use case and who brings in the client relationships and the initial go-to-market approach and then together, along with our data science machine learning expertise, we go and deliver a comprehensive solution suite to the customers. The fourth one, we mainly focus on industrial verticals, which means we don't look at sales and marketing functions like cross-sell, upsell, demographic analysis, psychographic analysis, client engagement understanding. We don't do that. We focus on backend processes for industrial verticals, which we'll focus on. I'll elaborate which ones we focus on. The next point is, what's our positioning? We are not an AI platform company, nor are we a software company. We are an operational analytics partner, which means we come, we understand your existing business process, its inefficiencies, and we deliver AI solutions that eliminate these operational inefficiencies. That leads to the last point, the engagement model, which is how do we engage our clients? We engage in a we win when you win kind of mantra, which is more than 50 to 75%, up to 75% of the revenue for Avlino is recognized when the operational KPIs that are set together with the client, when we accomplish those, that's when we go ahead and get 50 to 75% of our revenues. So we win when our customer wins. So quickly, how do we do this? Basically, we go and agglomerate or bring together three functions. We are one of the best data engineering. We have one of the best data engineering, high performance data engineering platforms out there. We have a very strong data science machine learning tool set that we have developed in-house. And then we augmented with business or domain understanding either in-house or with our domain partner. And when these three things can come together, that's how we deliver augmented or automated AI solutions. <clears throat> the company from an introduction perspective, 45 strong team, 80 to 90% of them have a master's or a PhD in computer science or quantitative sciences. More than half of them are based in New Jersey and we have about less than half of the team in Porto, Portugal. Verticals we focus on include marine terminals, telecommunications, oil and gas, and very soon we'll be entering into the infrastructure and transportation verticals as well. <clears throat> Market opportunities in marine terminals is over a billion dollars or close to a billion dollars, whereas in telecommunications, it's over $600 million. And as I mentioned, our go-to-market strategy, we go ahead and do good data engineering and data science, and we partner with a domain partner who understands that vertical well. And best thing from an ROI for client generation with this solution delivery concept, zero capital expenditure on their part. They don't have to buy any hardware or software. There is no custom engineering on their part. We directly get embedded into the business. Our solutions get embedded into the existing business processes. There is absolutely no need for the client to hire a data scientist, big data engineering team, software, or UI team. And most importantly, the ROI can be realized within eight to 12 weeks from the date of first installation. So where are we with our market delivery? 
three of the top 25 marine terminals to run on AI solutions offered by Ablino. We have delivered solutions to two of the world's largest telecom operators. By the end of the year, we'll have 10 very large enterprise customers. This five or six will be doubling up and having 10 to 12 customers by the end of the year, and we'll be accomplishing profitability by early next year. To date, we have not raised any significant funds from institutions like venture capital or private equity firms. We are looking for great team builder to partner with great team builders. So if you are interested in us, please reach out to us at sales at ablino.com. We are looking for investment partners. We are looking for employees or team members to come in and be a part of this exciting journey. We are looking for strategic partners. And most importantly, we are looking for customers who would like to go and implement AI solutions to accomplish their business objectives. Thank you, and we truly appreciate you sparing your time to hear about our Avelino story.